Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, keep in mind these readings are our general, so they will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Also keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So let's jump right into your reading for Sagittarius. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? Right. This reading will be for those of you that are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind already. Let's see, for Sagittarius. Message is guidance, please. For Sagittarius. So let's see what we get for you, Sagittarius. So what's going on in your connection? We have the Sun, Justice, Libra Energy, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, on your end here, we have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords. And on your person's end, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Three, no, Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the overall energy is a Two of Swords, Indecision, Stuck Energy, um hmm seven of wands interesting energy um what i'm getting with the sun and justice together i'm getting happy outcome but we'll see we'll clarify these energies i'm also getting that some of you could be dealing with a situation where you have to fight for your connection fight for your relationship um it's like you have to face challenges together. Um, and I feel like you have something to say or you have an important knowledge now with Ace of Swords. Um, at least when it comes to your person, there's clarity, there's communication, there's an important conversation that maybe you're having with this person. Okay, so I'm gonna first get some energy oracles for your connection. Can you tell us more spirit? Or Sagittarius. Okay, we have cold shoulders. Someone is feeling shut out. What else? What else for Sagittarius? And lucky, fortunate, and blessed. Hidden feelings at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, cold shoulder, hidden feelings. Someone could be um, keeping something to themselves maybe they have something to say they just haven't said it this could be you or your person because both of your energies are here someone could be feeling like their the other person isn't really including them um maybe you want clarity here we'll clarify and see but this is just the energies i'm picking up as i take out these energies okay what else let's get some stellar guidance to what else for Sagittarius? What do we need to know? And with the Queen of Wands here and the Ace of Swords, I'm getting that this communication or this truth, someone is motivated by something when, you know, related to that truth or that communication. So I can't wait to clarify and see what that's about. What can you tell me about this connection between Sagittarius and the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time? very soon okay so something could be happening quickly we have a cycle is ending hmm now what's this spring well spring is almost here so that definitely is very soon so I feel like things are moving quickly or happening quickly here bottom of the deck the future is bright so i sense between lucky a future is the future is bright the cycle a cycle you know ending here spring things happening quickly it's like the wheel of fortune um so let's get some clarity for you Can you get some clarity please on these energies Sagittarius can we get some clarity please 
things that we need to know. What do we need to know? I want to start with the seven of wands, just because I'm curious. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? <clears throat> Three of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? The moon, Pisces energy. Hmm. Why is the seven of wands here? The hermit. Okay, so when I get the hermit Virgo energy here, by the way, when I see the hermit with the moon and the three of wands, it's like someone doesn't have clarity or the answers. Someone isn't getting the information, the facts. They're still seeking, waiting around perhaps for information to come in or for someone to um, reveal something here. But the seven of wands is telling me that someone's feeling maybe a bit on guard because they don't really know exactly what's coming or they're they can sense that something is off but they don't have all of the information they don't have all of the facts with the moon pisces energy and the three of wands is almost like there's a waiting period here it's like someone's waiting for this information queen of swords um waiting for a specific message or waiting for a truth to be revealed or an important conversation and there's justice and behind justice, the Ace of Swords. So this is all related. So let's see what justice is about. Could be a legal matter for some of you, something official with the you know official institutions, a final decision there, or it could be that someone just wants justice. What's this justice energy about? Why is justice here? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. It's like someone's waiting for an opportunity that's fair. An opportunity that has potential. Empress energy here. And look what's behind that. The Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, it's like the potential for things to turn around. Potential for abundance. A lucky break. It's like someone's waiting for this. You or this other, or your person you're dealing with. There's something that you're waiting for. Maybe an offer from a particular person. Tell me about this sun. Why is the sun here? Strength, Leo energy. Could be dealing with a Leo, someone with Leo in their chart. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Knight of Wands. And then there's the Two of Wands, which your person has down here, the Two of Wands. Well, with strength in the Knight of Wands, I think of someone with the courage to act. The courage to move, move, uh, make a move of some sort and move quickly towards something. But the King of Pentacles would never be a Knight of Wands. You know, they're, they're opposite energies. King of Pentacles is very um, thoughtful. They don't like taking risks. They like doing things the slow way because it's, in their mind, is they have the more opportunity for being successful. Um, the King of Pentacles, for me as a reader, typically is already in some sort of a commitment or has obligations, provides, has responsibilities. Someone like a business owner or a parent or um, the provider of their family. But with the sun, the sun is a card about good news, celebration, joy, happiness. But for me as a reader, it's also a card about clarity. Um, when the sun is out, everything's clear. You can see everything. Everything is nice and bright. There's no shadows. Um, everything is at face value. I think when I see all of these energies together, I think that there's a King of Pentacles that either you are this King of Pentacles or your person is a King of Pentacles and they want to move towards their happiness. 
This requires them to make a decision here with the Two of Wands. Let's see, what's this Knight of Wands about? Why is the Knight of Wands here? What's this Knight of Wands about? The Knight of Cups, oh yeah. This is about coming forward, expressing themselves, expressing, you know, offering their cup to someone, their cup of love. Very sincere, the Knight of Cups. So I feel like someone here with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, there's a goal in mind. There's a goal that someone has. But with the Two of Wands that showed up, the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, I think timing is a factor. It's like someone's waiting for either th something to come out or to make a certain decision or for an outcome of some sort. Let's get some insight into your energies here. Tell me more about the energies between Sagittarius and this other person. Tell me about Sagittarius and this other person. I desire you. Sagittarius, you have a, I think you want something from this person specifically. I don't know what it is. I think it's going to be different for all of you, but you definitely want something. I don't think this is just, I desire you as in like a sexual thing or something in regards to like intimacy and chemistry, but I feel like this person could be your ideal partner or the person you see yourself with. The person that is your wish, your wish fulfilled. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is has or will be dealing with. About the person Sagittarius. Please forgive me. Hmm. Maybe they have something to apologize for maybe that's why the cold shoulder is here that why they have the five of pentacles maybe they're out in the cold right now due to some actions that their behavior actions they made now a cycle is ending i'm trying to figure out who who here has that um if it's you or them i'm working on myself at the bottom of the deck okay let's get some kippers what else? What else can you tell me? Or Sagittarius. What else? What else do I need to know? Marriage. Either this person is married or in a commitment, or this is what you want with them. Lovers. Oh yeah, there's definitely a connection here that you feel for this person. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Of course, Sagittarius, you can flip these energies if they resonate more. Pathway, okay, so this person has a long way to go. And this two of wands, I feel, yeah, bad health. Occupation at the bottom of the deck. This person is on a long journey. Like the pathway card is a card about having, being on a certain journey, but you have much more to go. And I think this person, they're not doing well. Maybe because they know that whatever path they're on, it's not over. There's still a lot to do. There's still a lot to work on. They're, they're still fall, far from their goal. Wedding. Okay, there's someone here that's definitely like married. There's separation. This could have been someone you were married to. Or someone that is married but needs to be separated or is married but separated. Okay, tell me about this other person. It is safe for you to love, open your heart, 
to give and receive the highest energy of all. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So when I see these two cards together, I get that this person needs reassurance when it comes to you, but I don't know why. Because if they're in a connection already, if they are already married or you're married, then it's not necessarily safe <laughs> for you to love them because there's this obstacle. I hope I make, I make sense there. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not going to get anybody's business, right? But there's lots of couples that are married but unhappy, right? There are lots of unhappily married couples out there. Um, and this is a story that always shows up in tarot readings, especially if you watch love tarot readings. Now, I'm not condoning anything, but it is very common for someone to, while they're unhappy, they fall for someone else. Or they're unhappy in a marriage that is just a marriage of convenience, right? It's not a marriage based off of love. It's based off of convenience. And so, you know, feelings arise, situations develop where someone does fall in love. Um, and that's where we get these third party energies that show up. However, there are obstacles. Obviously, you cannot be with someone. I mean, it's there's no longevity when you're with someone that's already in a, another situation or when you're in a situation because you know there's that existing barrier it's a barrier that exists um that prevents things from really moving forward in a healthy way so i feel like this person they need to know that it's going to be okay for them to pursue you and that can only happen if a cycle is ending which we already know so let's look over here i i have you with the queen of wands and the ace of swords I think you want the truth from this person about what their intentions truly are with you. What actions are they planning to take? What's what's the future hold for you and this person? I feel like you just need to know this. Tell me about the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Tell about the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. The sun shows up again. I think this is about clarity. Let's just put it all out there. Four of Wands. I also feel like this is the potential for what could be. Um, the future. The future is bright. So it's almost like you've met this person. You have a history with this person in some way or an attraction to this person. But it's like, let's talk about, yeah, let's talk about the decisions we have to make. The path we have to be on if we are to be together. Yeah, because of the hangman. There's love, there's emotions, there's feelings involved, but is there action? Is there planning, preparation? I think you want to know. You want to know that. Maybe you've been waiting and you're done with waiting. Queen of Cups, yeah, there's definitely a lot of emotions here. There's feelings for sure. Some of you might feel like this is your soulmate. Four of Wands. The Sun, the Queen of Cups, I, when I see all those cards together, I think, you know, a soulmate. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. I think that both of you are not doing well with the state of your connection. You are you have not received justice. At least you don't feel that or your person doesn't feel that way. Um, and I believe it's because there's a, the third party interference. Now, once again, I'm not here to condone anything or, or say that someone, you know, is doing the right thing or whatever. That's not my business. I'm just here to tell you what the cards are showing. But what I see here is that, you know, it's it's the the obstacle or the the situation that everybody falls finds themselves in with a third party situation. Will we be together or not? Period. <laughs> are we doing this or not? Are you going to remain there or are you going to start a new path? That's always going to be the that's how everything's going to end up. <laughs> So I feel like this is what your person is going through. They have to make a decision. They have to choose this path if they want to go down this path or not. You know, they need to decide yes or no. It's very hard to have a successful relationship where, you know, you're juggling too many things. There's no longevity there, like I said. At least not any happy, fulfilling relationship. I mean... And there's a lot of people that end up choosing to stay with their current situation just because it's more comfortable, it's easier, it's the right thing to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to choose happiness over that. So that's like the, the big um, conflict. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person, they're thinking about the long term. Yeah, the Lovers, Ten of Pentacles, either an existing partnership that they're thinking about or the future of your connection. Are they able to commit to you? Yeah, they need to tell you. This needs to be discussed. This is the elephant in the room. Yep, Knight of Swords. You're both thinking about the same thing. You're both you both know that you've hit a, a you know, you've hit a point where a decision has to be made. Maybe Sagittarius, you're asking for an ultimatum or you're just wanting to know. You know, you're demanding to know. I need to know what's going on, where this is going to end up. I need to know. I feel like are we doing this or not? It's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. <laughs> and once again, you know, I'm just reading the cards. I'm reading what shows up, the message that shows up. I'm not here to tell anybody what to do or to say that, you know, one thing's right, one thing's wrong. Um, but I feel like we're this is the, for the Sagittarius that I'm reading for, a cycle needs to end. And, and as of right now, what I see is more communication than action which is very concerning to me. Cycles don't end on their own. Cycles don't end by themselves. <laughs> That's not how cycles work. Now, if this person decides that, yes, they're going to be with you, they're going to commit to you, there's work involved that they have to do, which they're aware of. But that's probably going to take some time. And this is, again, another situation with third-party connections, is how long can you really wait to be with your person? When is waiting too long, like, too too big of a, a problem, right? I mean, just talk to Gemini. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. Thank you so much for watching, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, hopefully I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.